Hello guys, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of Jerusalem. I'm actually visiting the old city of Jerusalem and I have entered through the Lion's Gate. And I'm walking along the famous Via de la Rosa, the Road of the Sorrows. This is where, according to tradition, Christ carried his cross on the way to his crucifixion not far from here on Golgotha or the place of the skull. Golgotha is the Hebrew name for the place of the skull. Now Christ was condemned to death by Pontius Pilate and after his condemnation he was taken as a prisoner and placed into prison before the cross was given to him. And right here along Via Dolorosa, on this very, very busy, very hectic, very crowded road, we find a Greek Orthodox church. You can see the entrance right there. And that's where the prison of Christ is at. Now it's a very crowded place, very busy as you can see. We're going to go inside and we're going to view both the prison of Christ and also the prisons of the two thieves that were condemned to death with Christ. Let's go down here, let's wait for the crowds to leave and then Let's visit both places. Okay, on the left side we find the prison of Christ. Let's be very careful here, it's very tight. There are several rooms here carved to the hard rock. There's a cell here, but Christ was kept in here. Look at this very rarely seen and videotaped site here in Jerusalem. Let's be careful. So when he was arrested, the gardens of Gethsemane if I can say it correctly, at Mount of Olives, he was brought here before Pontius Pilate saw him and condemned him to be crucified. This side has been blackened from burning incense and candles. it a little bit. It's a very small, very tight space of about three meters in length by two meters in height. And there is a beautiful mosaic there, as you can see, with Christ in prison adorned by two angels, one on either side of him. Let's exit a little bit carefully. Here's the entrance. Here's a very last view before a large group enters. And then now we're not going to be able to speak from the noise. Look at this. From this view here. Now let's go view the prison of the two thieves that were crucified along with Christ. And uh, once again, this is the entrance to the prison of Christ. And to the right of it, there are more cells of the two thieves that were crucified along with Christ and Barabbas. 
as you can recall, Barnaba was freed when Pontius Pilate asked the Jews whom they wanted to free Jesus or Baraba. This is where they were held. This is a very large space, and it was a place for a lot of, well, let's say inmates. And these prisons were carved into a hard rock. There are places all over here. You can imagine many, many people living here in miserable conditions. Here is a large cell that has been converted into a chapel. You can see the hard rock of Jerusalem right above us. And there's another staircase that leads us that leads us down to a level below. Let's go down there carefully. Let's hold the camera with one hand and go down carefully. And down here we find a very large space. That's the staircase I took right there. You can imagine down here more prisoners held by the Romans awaiting either their execution or their fate to find out what would happen to them. Miserable conditions, really. It's very musty, very humid. Down here, the Romans had carved this prison space out of the hard rock. So there were different layers. There's even another layer down there, but the gate is locked up. So Jesus had well, if we can call it a privilege of getting his own space. Upstairs, as we saw, the thieves and Baraba, who was a Jewish hero, because he was accused of killing a Roman soldier, was kept somewhere in here along with the two thieves. They were crucified along with Christ. What an incredible, what a historic place. The temperature here is really cool. It's about 16 degrees Celsius, and it's about 30 on the street outside. Wow, let's go upstairs. Well, as you can see, my friends, it takes a lot of effort and energy especially time to videotape in these places here in Jerusalem. It is such a crowded place. It can take hours just to videotape a small segment of five minutes. And this is what happened here. When I first arrived, it was full of Ukrainian pilgrims. Then the Romanians came and then the Russians. So I had to wait in order to videotape the prisons all by myself, but it was well worth the time of waiting and the effort. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from the old city of Jerusalem. This was the prison of Christ in the old city.